According to the group, seven workers have suffered various degrees of injuries in the hands of the armed men in military uniforms in January alone. Aside the irregular tags on their lives and property, the workers claim that the armed men in military uniform frequently obstructs the police CID from looking into accusations of encroachment and land guard activities on the Trasaco property. This is a flagrant brutality, trespass, destruction of property, attempted theft of land, and what is tantamount to contempt of the Supreme Court's judgment. We should condemn it, and it must be condemned in no uncertain terms. The group indicated that despite the military high command's assertion that the troops in the area was a part of Operation Calm Life team, their conduct proved otherwise. The then Southern Command, Brigadier General Amoisi, and he indicated to us that the soldiers who were there were there because of Operation Calm Life. And they were not there to support anybody. My question, I'm not saying anything new, but my question is that if they are there because of Operation Calm Life and to ward off uh, land gas, why is it that when they are using the bulldozers to destroy our properties, the military is guarding them? Why? They demanded an intervention by the president. After two weeks, if we don't hear anything from government of Ghana, then it means we have to embark on a demonstration. A demonstration. You see the, the numbers here. These are just a fraction of the, the workers we have here at Pasago. So if the government of Ghana want, wants us to throng the streets of Accra and demonstrate uh, our displeasure about what is happening and the fact that, I mean, some places belong to, belonging to the government of Ghana are part of this, this we will do so. And we will name names, we will mention names. The Ghana Armed Forces is yet to respond to the issues. <laughs>